be about Terra Luna or Terra USD. Ticker is UST. And again, obviously, if you're watching this video, you're familiar with what's kind of gone on here with this project. We know the Terra Luna coin here has been completely wrecked as far and as well as UST has been completely wrecked. No new news as far as just the obviously detrimental and extremely volatile price action of Luna over the past month. But I just wanted to go over a few things. Obviously, I've been making a few videos here on this sort of saga, I guess you could call it, um, that is the Terra ecosystem. But I wanted to go over a few articles here with everyone. I want to get your guys' opinions in the comments below if possible. But yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into it. So first, I wanted to go over this was this is on Analytics Insight. And this talks about why Binance CEO is against the proposed Terra Luna fork. And as you can see here, the Binance head has already shared his disapproval against the final tariff recovery plan. No, now why? Or no why? The CEO of Binance, Chapang Zhao, is against the proposed Terra Luna fork. The Terra Luna fork is a recovery plan for the Terra ecosystem. The Terraform Labs CEO Do Kwan posted the recovery plan to the Terra Research Forum, and it suggests the creation of a new Terra chain without an algorithmic stablecoin, which would mean no more Terra USD or UST. Uh, Do Kwan revealed a new token will be distributed to Luna holders, UST holders, and US, UST holders, but the Binance head has already shared his disapproval against the final terror recovery plan. So, Jop hangs out on Twitter talking about this. Uh, he halted trading both Luna and Terra USD, UST to protect, protect traders from the collapse of both. Terra USD is the algorithmic stablecoin at the heart of the Terra ecosystem, soon to be called Terra Classic. And after depegging from its $1 price crash, it's currently at a price of 0 0.09. Now currently at a price of, where were we at? Um, it's now sitting at 0 0.06, just for reference. Um, the price of Luna is currently down to triple zeros 181, down from over $80 at the beginning of May. Doquan's recovery plan for Terra would see a new Luna token distributed to the affected parties, but the Binance CEO would per prefer to see a massive buyback and burn of existing Luna tokens to recover the current Terra ecosystem. Jiapeng Sao's tweet, as you can see here, um, the last few days we tried hard to support the Terra community. In my tweets, I am simply pointing the potential issues from my understanding. Minting, forking, don't create value, buyback, and burning does, but requires funds, funds that project team may not have. In this regard, I would like to see more transparency from them, much more, including a specific on-train transactions of all the funds. Relying on third-party analysis is not sufficient or accurate. This is the first thing that this should have happened. I'm not always right, but my perspective is failures can, can and will happen. But when they do, transparency, speedy communication, and owning responsibility to the community is extremely important. I'm just hoping the project team can raise, rise from the ashes and rebuild in a proper and sensible way. Regardless of my personal views or the solution chosen in the end, we will always be here in support of the community any way we can. Going back to the article here. Um, sorry. Uh, the Evergrow coin, which is a Binance buyback and burn case study, is a leading hyperdeflationary token in the Binance ecosystem. The project was launched in September and has built-in mechanism to every month buyback and burn Evergrow coins tokens from the market and reduced the overall supply and raises prices. Today, Evergrowing Evergrow coin has burned more than 52% of the total supply, while there's 6.5 million lunar tokens in circulation circulating the crypto space. Um, so similarly, I mean, ideally, Chapang's out wants uh, Luna, or the Terra, Terraform Labs to kind of have the same sort of concept similar to Evergrow coin, um, but with Terra Luna. So the Terra ecosystem revival plan has seen update and is currently marked as updated and final. Doquan has been active on Twitter posting, reposting all the Terra validators who have pledged support for the proposed Terra Luna fork. The proposal is due for a governance vote on May 18th, which has already happened and if successful will go live May 27th. The Luna token distribution would be as follows. 25% community pool. The pre-attack Luna holders get 35%. The pre-attack UST holders get 10. Post-attack Luna holders get 10. And then post-attack UST holders get 20%. So it's super, super interesting in kind of where we are with this whole drastic and just dramatic sort of saga that this is. Um, I'm extremely interested in what's going to happen. As of earlier today, I mean, Terra, Crypto Terra Luna rallies over 55% in 24 hours after crash last week. Um... You can see your stablecoin Terra USD surged 10% to 7 cents, while its sister token Terra Luna rallied more than 56% to triple zeros to one over the past 24 hours as per CoinGecko after crashing from its $1 value last week. Um, so again, there was a little bit of price increase, some significant price action earlier uh, with Terra Luna, but still nonetheless down quite a bit. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about all this. I'm going to continue to make videos on it. Super interesting stuff. And again, if you've lost any significant money in this sort of... Uh, 
issue or problem that we've had here with Terra and the Terraform ecosystem, I definitely 100% feel for you guys. So again, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, drop a like on this video, and as always, have a great day.